Welcome to this very short uh, Excel 2011 for Mac tutorial. So what we're going to look at today is a dynamically expanding range. So uh, the best use for this is in charting and when we've got a data set that may get bigger or smaller. So at the moment I've got a very simple chart and as you can see when I click on the series it highlights the title, the X and the Y values. So what I want to be able to do is uh, create a dynamic range that means if I delete some names off this list or add it the graph automatically changes. To do that I have to use a function called offset. So I click on insert name define and I want to create a dynamic range called names and I'm going to type a formula in the refers to box. Offset has five variables and that's quite a lot. You don't usually get uh, functions with that many but this one's got five variables. First variable is an anchor point. I refer to that um, when I'm thinking as a title, so I'm clicking on the word player. The data begins a certain number of rows and columns away from that title, so the first name is one row down and zero columns across. The third, um, the fourth variable, sorry, and the fifth variable are the size of the data. So in our case, it is five rows times one column. But if I want it to expand, if I add or reduce, if I delete, then I have to use a counter inside that. So I'm just going to go down to row 20, just in case a whole lot of data gets added. And it's one column. So that counter function means that it's determining the size of the range by how many names are present. I'm just going to repeat that. For the actual data itself, one row down, zero columns across. We also want it to go down as many names that are in the list. So we've now got two named ranges, one's called um, names and one's called goals. So if I click on this data, this is where it's mapping to, and if I go select data, it'll show us the hard coding of what these ranges refer to. And if I change this to goals, if I change that to names, what should happen is it now is mapping a dynamic range. looking good so far. Great. And if I delete, it also works. So there we are. Expanding and contracting uh, dynamic ranges very useful for graphs where you have got an unknown amount of variables that you might want to add in. Thanks for stopping by, I'll see you next trip.